Yeah, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It's up on the another one. Jenny, Jenny, Jenny. Hope everybody's having a good morning. Uh, yes, you saw I kind of did a little stream earlier. Um, you know, kind of showing the Elite Dangerous. I'm kind of hoping the hang of the or the or the little thing that they showed on um, it's going to be a really worthwhile thing. But I'm actually looking forward to it. Um, uh, yeah, yesterday I didn't get on to Star Wars after the attack notes got done. I just got done patching. Um, you know, the name is like, if you followed me yesterday, I was on Elite Dangerous, kind of, you know, doing a, a very special thing to the uh, to a group called Special Effect and the Elite Dangerous. So me and my group, Hudson, all the little face truckers, got together, and, uh, Commander Goose is still a, uh, third god in the sky that is taking over Hudson Orville, and is eating all of our cookies and drinking up all the Hudson gin at our Hudson station. So, anyway, so, uh, get today's pack now. Like I said, I didn't get back in, because I was busy working on Elite Dangerous. So, uh, here are the tat notes. Players who completed the dark versus the light, which I will be picking up again today. So, you will be seeing me, uh, doing that. Um, I think my, uh, Sith is doing it. I need to catch up. Because I think one of them's already, you know, on the process of leaving the planet and going to the other one. And... That's a good. It's either my Jedi or my Sith. Because one of them um, has now completed it, got her ship, and she's now getting ready to leave the planet to go to the next one, which is, um... I want to get what the next planet is. While the other one is still in the middle of the storyline. So I'm going to be picking that up and pushing her through, because I, I definitely want to see at least, you know, for my, both my Sith and my Jedi, uh, at least get the achievement that I've done the, the light versus the dark and play through it, see what it is. And yes, granted, um, it is a kind of the slap to a lot of the veterans because it's the same mission stories done over again, just with the light versus dark effect. But me, I don't mind it. I enjoy it. Um, now going back here. Um. I don't remember how I got to that one. There it is, light versus the dark. See, dark, ah, uh, dark versus the light taking over the galaxy. Uh, let's see where it is today. And the light side is still winning at 52.1 versus 37.99. And like I said, my Sith Warrior the other day, uh, I made sure that every chance I could slap that, every chance, um, you know, there was a dark side choice I chose. But as you can see, the light side is still winning. Um, a lot of people have completed it, so they are now at a le uh, the legendary level now. And that's basically what the task was about. But there was a lot of people who leveled up really fast and got the thing done really, really fast. Uh, and got the, um, you know, this outfit, which is the light versus the dark outfit. Um, that for some reason didn't get the title, did everything else and all. So they fixed that. Um, I think it's the other thing they thick. There was another thing that they thick, and then there was a thing that they added, which I'm kind of one side I'm happy they did, but the other side of them, eh. Um, that notes. He corrected an issue to the new players from earning their title, uh, to grass players. Alright, well let's go ahead and close that out. Close out Google so it's not the end of the darn memory hog in the background. Yeah. Now I got this guy. I'm trying to get this guy the whole Yedden Thor outfit. So at least he's got the 2-0-E gear. Because right now the only one that's actually completed the whole Fallen Empire is my one Jedi. Everybody else just has this crafty 192, and I can't even get past the um, one mission. I'm just literally getting owned and destroyed because uh, my gear is just not so great.
So, the other thing that's kind of interesting that they've done, in the Legacy tab, if you open up the Legacy tab, they have now added a field personal cargo hold. And this is why I'm like, eh, because I was kind of hoping uh, that when they did this, it would show up here. Well, not did a cron. Hold on. It would have shown up here. That way, you know, we would be able to get everything. As you can see, I pretty much got everything unlocked. So all my accounts, everything is unlocked. Just everything else. But this is the new thing. A Thiel personal cargo hold. The other thing, a Thiel personal a legacy hold. Okay, so that's a car. That's your legacy one on that Catalo. Just everything else and all. Of course, I've got that unlocked, and then you've got that, that. See, I don't even have enough to really... See, three tete, four tete. Um... Now it's probably better. I'm gonna go that route. Ah. Uh, what can I get rid of? The Interesting. I like it. I like it. I like it. I really do. And then the other one. See, I don't even have the knot to get the next one. How much does the next one cost? Five twenty-five. Three fifty. Ah, see, I guess you have to oh, well, get 50, so you can unlock that, see how much it's going to cost. Uh, requires level 12. Requires little cargo hold, resource one, and prudent one. Two nine seven hundred and thirty. Three nine five hundred thousand. One million. Eh, it won't take me long to get a million, just to see what it looks like. I know. But now, like I said, I kind of wish they would have made it where these would have shown up down here. Because like I said, this here, ladies and gentlemen, this is your account-wide uh, screen. So anything and everything, all my characters that's on this, this Shadowland server, will have them locked. Now, if you go to another on uh, server, you gotta do, do this all over again. So all of this stuff, I would have to unlock again and get again and lift everything else on another server. So for the Shadowland, all my characters, all 20 characters, all of this is available to all 20 of my characters. All of this. Um, and like I said, this guy is the one that I literally... You know, I pretty much got everything I... I oh, ooh, what's this? This is now. It is the time taken to get into the patch. 
Well, I'm not that companion. Oh, hold on, leave it on one day. Time. I didn't realize I had that on the to talk or the to thing. Give me a second. Yeah, I'm gonna reset it. Yeah, they tut 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 knocking in it. Yeah, one of my followers is on Discord. Yeah, sorry about that. Now, like I said, when I do the Hudson Old Little uh, thing, if they're not, they had to set both of the Discord, uh, Hudson Old Little Discord, and the Team Fake thing to the, like, a voice to talk, a uh, push to talk type thing. So sorry about that. Oh, uh, right, let's see what this thing can do. Um, see, 125 to that. Yeah, I'll blow the money. Let's see what it can do. Okay, well this is the time it takes get and get to contain like 20 to sign. Um. I'm gonna go to my um, main stronghold. Reaction small no reaction large 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 not launch game. She's now up to two eleven. This may be useful. This may be useful. She's at the third seven oh eight, she like that. This may be useful. Useful. Well, you still got that not ready yet, so if you try to fast click it. This may be useful. G13. I accept your tribute. 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 So you actually gone past ten. Yeah, it's the longest time. Ten was like tribute. the most you can get to your companions. I accept your tribute. I accept your tribute. I accept your tribute. I wonder this right here, I little fifty. I wonder that the max. I accept your tribute. I accept your tribute. Yeah, I wonder that little titty right there at the max you can go. Cause the longer time of the game, Tim with the most you had to worry about 
as soon as you guys took a thing at the level 10, you were maxed out and did thought everything else and you was done. You didn't have to worry about anything else with your companions. But at the same time, I actually enjoyed the companion storyline. You know, it, it kind of brought me closer to, you know, who your companions are, why they're with you, uh, what their deal is, just everything else and all. To me, it was like, it, it brought me closer to, you know, your companions and stuff. Alright, well, um, I'm gonna go ahead and look right here, that's the update, which was kind of interesting. Um, I'm gonna be picking up, uh, in fact, I totally forget who's who. Because I think the last time I did anything was like on the weekend. Yeah, because I believe she's the one, she's now gotten her shift and she's now leading Dromacost going to the next planet. Um, I think it's her that I'm working on, I want to say. So when I come back, I'm going to be kicking up um, her, because like I said, level 25 is when you can, you know, get in fact, well, I'm going to go, go into her. I want to see if there's any gits or anything. You know, it's given to us as, you know, at least get achieving level 25, which is the third level of the late third to talk of that. Alright, home screwed home. So I did get that. Yeah, because I went right to introduction to strongholds. Yeah, so I did get it. Okay, so there's the title. So I'm now a uh, heroic victor. So she now finally got a title, finally. She finally got a title. Um, so 10 of 10, reach level 50, oh okay, so I gotta do the plus points, what is this, light set, last point, light set, story, continues, What's this? Chat one. Shadow rhythm. See, I got that one right there, which I didn't get the other day. Because I did it, I completed it, but nothing showed up. So thank you, though, for fixing that. So there, Light Thirds of Dark Home Sweet Home is now completed. Uh, what's the next one? Companion levels. Or champion levels, I'm sorry, champion level. Cause that's like all side missions, I want to say. Uh, internal, reach 65. Degree droid defeated. Oh wow, and I just missed the Rakul of that. I don't know, this was available. I should have paid more attention. Mm. See, that's right there, the Downy Hunter. These are all different class stories. And this is...
Max all craft increase. Well. Reach the light. I die. Purchase the data crown to one point decorated in the one day with any character created during the light search of the dark. Okay, so there's apparently some guy that has a data crown. I'll have to go see how much that is. Um complete legendary level. See a lot of these are basically replays and uh accolades that you gotta like go for again. Reach little titty in the downy hunter. Crew skill reach that titty and Yeah, see, I'm gonna have to die more. Unless I put them on another uh, another server somewhere. Because I already got 20 on this one already. I do know that I think it's uh, a max, I want to say 30, I want to say. Which you're allowed to have. I'm trying to find the one quick travel. Go on places new count of the thirst that is Here it is additional character slot this will unlock this little slot okay so you can only have the maximum authority and I'm already at twenty already on the shadow lane server already. So as you can see right there there's thirty new server allow character to create on additional server subscribers to begin with twelve character slots so and I have to go to another one and I've got a couple other people on another server that's uh, the Dutholone, um, that's on the west side of the coast, um, you know, the west side. Um, you know, they're like, hey, you know, we can get together, we can help you do the operation. And the one guy actually made a comment that's kind of interesting. He said that uh, I could join him and go with him and everything else and start doing some of the operations. So I could see what the operations like, this, that, and all, and get the gear to the operation. And then he said that once I completed this everything else, that one character, I could then do the transfer slot to transfer that character from the west side, from the west side server, um, over to the Shadowland. Um, I want to say a Dojin Colony or something, uh, or the Hardinger. Yeah, the Hardinger. I think that's the one he's on. The Hardinger uh, that he's on. 
uh, then he kind of warned me that it is a TDT, so both uh, light side, uh, both Jedi's, um, you know, both entire side and the other players, when they're on one planet, they can attack each other because it is a TDT server. So while you're trying to do your missions, you might run into, uh, <laughs> you know, uh, <coughs> excuse me, um, oxygen faction that'll choose to attack and try to take you out while you're doing your missions. And he said it's pretty interesting. So like I said, I thought I got 20 on the Shadowland. And I'm seriously thinking about doing that. And actually creating the um, the Harbinger one and kind of go that route. And then that means everything that I have on this character, everything that I have, which kind of dumbed me. Like, as you can see, I don't have nothing unlocked on this one at all. I have nothing. But yet, go down to here to Ether. This is all unlocked. But if I go to the Harbinger, this page is not unlocked. I'll have to unlock everything all over again on the Harbinger. So all of this will be practically, like, brand new. I'll be doing this all over again. But he says his guild is a very active guild, whereas my guild... Unfortunately, the only ones that are truly really here is really me and Aaron. Unfortunately, only me and Aaron. Hmm. <sighs> Alright, well, like I said, that the update, this and everything else, I kind of want to get an update. So they did fix that, this, that, and everything else. But I, like I said, this is my stronghold. I did the thing, but I got nothing for it. But I had a mission telling me, you know, do the stronghold thing, do the stronghold, you know, intro, this, that, and I'll go to your stronghold, this, that, everything else, and all. You know, I got nothing for it, so at least now they fixed it, or I was able to get it. And so far, she's the only one who's now reached the third level, which is level 25. So, that's basically an update, and then in a few minutes, um, I'm going to get me some tea, because this coffee's kind of got uh, gone cold on there. Um... Oh, you know, it didn't look good. It's a mission. See what the other one was doing. Yeah, she's at the one car getting ready to go to the Jedi Temple. She's at the Jedi Temple one. And then go back, see. What my ship is doing. Because I believe it's my ship. Uh, she's got her ship now. She's now leaving. She's now going to the next planet. Yeah, see, we weren't telling Del Nora or Hut controlled. Okay, leading drone because use your ship hollow net or uh, hollow terminal. So as you can see, I'm basically leaving. All right. Well, like I said, give me a few minutes to everything else. When I come back, I will be, you know, jumping on my Jedi and go uh, getting her through the uh, the course on, so she can go ahead and leave. Um, and I'm sorry that I I didn't kind of get together because yesterday with the Hudson Space Truckers. Um, if you watch that stream, it was a very good stream. I had a lot of fun with everything else and all. And unfortunately, yeah, it took me like all day because, uh, you know, the one shift I got it all prepped up to go and decided not to take a chance on it because I just, like I said, I just picked up the Asics store. I didn't want to take a chance because it's I was still like setting it up where it's the uh, Scout hat, the best of the best right now. So I decided to go ahead and use that shift. Um, I thought we was, you know, kind of like passing through, so of course I jumped right over to Hudson. 
Uh, and if you watched my screen, I kind of showed you a shortcut way where you can jump from um, jump from Hudson and then go to the other station, the Alden station, where we all met. Uh, then I misunderstood because I didn't hear the part of that where okay, everybody got an open state to get the uh, one pilot, the one commander that we was all playing with, who's part of the um, special effect group that makes. And that's another thing I like about the uh, Hudson group. Um, you know, there's a story they just posted this morning, the guy Dave that, who's been working on the game since 84, he's gone through quite a few ideas and uh, reinventions of the game, and I'm glad I've been around to watch it grow and develop, uh, but the one guy, um, uh, Cranin, Cranin, uh, that we was, uh, following, sorting, he's part of the group known as the Special Effects, where, um, you know, these, you know, disabled people, disabled kids who want to play games but they have a hard time doing things because of their disability and everything else. So his group actually goes out of the way to, you know, make, um, you know, uh, that makes like a hardware type, you know, this everything else can help so that way these disabled people can actually play the game and enjoy you know, day-to-day -day life and get online and do things online just like a regular normal person. So I'm glad I was part of that group last yesterday and even though uh, Commander Goose, yes, you're a Thor God. We all know that you're a Thor God. So you, you can turn off your, your holographic disguise. We, we know that you're a Thor God, Commander Goose. Um, but um, when I come back, like I said, this tea, this coffee did it door now. I need to make me some tea. Um, I'm not sure what else to say. That was the patch note that they finally fixed the my legacy level. They finally gave me my stronghold title that for some reason didn't come through or whatever. And I see the thing kick it in. Don't you dare knock me offline. Oh, it didn't seem to knock it. I don't think. No, it says it's acceptable. Ah, uh, oh, let me get a little break it, because I ain't a Spyware thing. I gotta set the kick on 10, 10 o'clock every morning instead of the 2 o'clock every morning. So I'll be right back, and, um, you know, once, once I get some tea and everything else, we'll be picking up and uh, catching up again. Thanks for watching now. May the 4th be with you, and see you all shortly. Bye.